Hi, my name is Frank, and welcome back for module number three of the MESA Customizing PG Star for Your Models uh, tutorial. And in this module, we're going to create our first plot, which is the Kip and Han uh, diagram. And so let's get to it. So go ahead and issue the dot slash rn command. Uh, this job is going to take anywhere from two to eight hours, depending on the hardware in your system. But the state of the model is mostly irrelevant for our purposes here. I'm going to recommend that you keep the job running. Uh, and as we make changes to Inlist PG Star and you save that file, Mesa will update the plots live, uh, which is a very valuable feature uh, of Mesa that we're going to be exercising, is the ability to make and change the plots on the fly. If you happen to make a mistake and Mesa happens to stop, uh, I'm going to advise that you issue the dot slash re and then give it a photo number wherever it stopped. Um, alternatively, you can start it from the beginning, give it a dot slash rn. Uh, that's fine too. Although there will be some benefit uh, in later modules if the model was in a more advanced evolutionary state, but it's all good. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go over to a terminal. Here I am in the right directory, Mesa underscore SS 2014 Timmy is for where I've got this. And given the slash RN, and Mesa fires up, and it's starting to calculate. So that's good. So let's go back to our guidance. Task is to open the inlist PG star in your editor. I'm going to use Emacs. It's going to be empty. Uh, and since we have a convectively bounded carbon flame, visualizing the convective and burning region seems like a pretty good idea. So let's go ahead and first open up that inlist PG star file. Um, there we are. Emacs PG star. Uh, as advertised, it is empty. So we'll go back to our guidance. So our next task is to copy the following history plot commands uh, uh, from this PDF. This PDF is in the um, directory that you downloaded. Uh, so it's in this directory right here that you should have. If so if you want to follow along and uh, cut those PDFs from there, that's fine. Or you can take them from the supplied plot underscore commands text file and paste it uh, into the endless PG star and then save the endless PG star file. So I'll use the plot commands.txt file uh, just so you can see how to do that. Uh, and we'll get our first plot up. So let's do that. So we go back to our terminal. Uh, okay. And there's plot commands text right there. So I'm going to open that in another buffer. I'm going to cut this in Emacs. I'm then going to go back to my endless PG star. I'm going to paste those in. So this is our Kip and Han diagram. Uh, we'll walk through a number of these fields later. And just for the purposes of this video, I'm going to slow the calculation down. Uh, it just helps with the movies uh, if uh, I slow it down a bit. So PG star underscore sleep uh, equal 2.0. So that's going to wait two seconds uh, between updating. So let's go ahead and save that. And our first window is up. I'll put this over here. Um, so what we have is a Kippenhan diagram, uh, mass on the y-axis, and in this case model number uh, on the x-axis, excuse me, mass on the y-axis, model number on the x-axis. The blue here means that it's cooling, uh, and the red here means that it's burning, and so we've already started the convective flame. Uh, this is the red, uh, and then it's turning convective behind the flame. So this one lit off at a mass at about 0.45. The convective region behind the flame has started. Okay. So I do, oops, let's go back to our, so we did that. Got the Kippenon diagram up. And after a while, we should see something like this, which is what we got. And now I invite you just to walk through and change some of these parameter settings on the fly uh, so you can see what it is they do. So let's go play a little bit uh, on this Kip and Han diagram. So I have set the age to be in seconds. Uh, as I noted before, I'm making it go a little slower so it shows up good in these movies. The Kip wind flag is what uh, activates the window. 
If I turn that to false, the window will be asked to close. I can set the width uh, to whatever is necessary for the particular machine I'm on. Uh, if I liked really big plots, I would set that to 16 on this desktop, and it would make me a very nice big Kippenhahn diagram. If I was on um, a smaller laptop, I may go to 10, and I may change that aspect ratio to 0.6, and I would get a smaller window with a different aspect ratio. So you'll have to play with that a little bit uh, to make it best fit on your machine. I've got the mass limit set to uh, maximum mass to 1, and then the max minimum mass to 0. If I would like to see the entire star, go ahead and change that to 9.5. Solar masses, hit return, save the file. And now this is the entire star from 0 mass out to uh, 9.5. Uh, this down here is the uh, carbon core, this red region running through here. Uh, is the uh, helium burning shell, and then it's convective um, all the way above that. We have our carbon flame down here, which is also convective, and will eventually make its way in. So I'm going to go back to blowing that up, change it to 1, save the file, and we go back to a maximum mass of 1. If you want to show some mass boundaries, go ahead and change that to true. And this will show you the um, Various mass boundaries. I need to go out a bit, so let's change that to three to show you the mass boundaries. So the uh, green here is the carbon core mass, so everything below here is carbon, everything below the green line here is um, the uh, helium, helium shell. Okay, go back to our defaults of one. Okay, the mass, the limits. Um, let's just try. Let's just try setting this equal to, let's say, minus 1. Let's see what that does. And if we do that, then uh, by default, MESA starts at 0, and our model doesn't start until 3,400. Uh, so there's nothing there to show, so that's not so great. So we'll go back to 3,400. 3,400. And we're back to our original default. If you wanted to start saving some of the output, uh, either in PNG or color postscript formats, you could do that now. We're going to cover part of that uh, in a later module, so we're not going to play with that right now. But we've got our first window up, uh, and we'll continue on with more windows and eventually creating a customized grid for this particular convectively burning carbon flame. Thanks. Bye.